Hey everyone, Jared Germain here, and it looks like T-Swizzle's in trouble, but is she really now? Let's take a look at this Rolling Stone article I have pulled up on my laptop right now. Taylor Swift unable to shake off infringement lawsuit will go to trial. So who could really lay claim to players gonna play and haters gonna hate? Superstar loses latest attempt to dismiss lawsuit. Looks like T-Swizzle is having some trouble right now. Seems like she's been in this legal battle for a little bit of time. Now, I do have my opinions on this, but I do want to look a little more into the article to see what's going on. Taylor Swift's year-long legal battle, year-long, this has been going on since the top of 2021, or maybe the end of 2020, over the Shake It Off lyrics will stretch on into at least 2022 after a federal judge ruled Thursday that she must stand trial in the copyright case. The singer was first sued in 2017 by songwriters Sean Hall and Nathan Butler. So it looks like it isn't actually 3LW suing her. It looks like it's actually the songwriters of the song, Sean Hall and Nathan Butler, which sometimes, you know, the artists don't even know the songwriters. Actually, songwriters sometimes just write songs for artists and artists just sings them, not knowing who the songwriters are. And then years later, they figure out, oh, wow, these are the two people that wrote the song for me. Wait, what? Uh... The music industry is so weird like that. Like there's no, there's sometimes not personal relationships within the song, which is weird because sometimes artists are just looking for a hit or like labels are just searching for a hit from any songwriter. They don't have to actually know the, the artists themselves. So it looks like that's possibly what happened here. I don't know if 3LW knows them personally, but both these songwriters claimed her 2014 hit Shake It Off lifted lyrics from their 2001 song for 3LW. And what they say by lifted lyrics means is they, they stole the lyrics. Play is going to play, specifically, which is the song that they wrote for 3LW, include variations of the phrases, play is going to play and haters going to hate. So I can't pull up the actual audio on this right now. I'll get some copyright claims on the video, but I could sing it to you so you can hear the differences between both songs. Taylor Swift goes, play is going to play, 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 play. Haters going to hate, 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 hate. I need my auto tune, sorry. Uh, 3LW goes, players they gonna play, and haters they gonna hate. Now, I'm no law expert, but I will say I'm pretty good at music. I'm gonna say that's that's a reach. I mean, so basically what you're gonna tell me right now is that ABBA is gonna sue Britney Spears for putting Gimme in the title of her song because theirs is Gimme, 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 Man After Midnight. That's kind of along the lines of what I'm looking at right here. I mean. Players going to play, haters going to hate is is probably one of the most broad terms used in music. They could probably like go, I mean, they can make their case against pretty much anybody because I've heard the lyrics. You could probably check on lyric sites to see how many songs are using that lyric. The lawsuit was first dismissed in February 2018. It was already dismissed by another court, um, but revived in 2019 by a three-judge panel from the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. So... They're really trying to get that T-Swizzle money. The th you know, the sad thing about songwriters is that the songwriters are just like the lowest on the totem pole in the music creative space. It's, it's really sad, actually. Songwriters don't get paid up front for writing songs. Uh, the producers get paid up front and they get the back end. Songwriters only get the back end part. So songwriters are, you know, left with the small straw. They just, here, you get the back end money while this producer is getting paid. The artist is going to get paid. We're going to pay the performance people for the stage. We're going to pay the manager. We're going to pay songwriters. You guys, I'm sorry. Just just wait for the paycheck when the song comes out. That's a big deal and, and a big problem in the music community why songwriters don't get paid up front. Only if you're a huge songwriter will you get paid up front for the money for a song, which is probably honestly why these two songwriters are going after Taylor Swift, um, to be honest with you. Because I'm sure the 3LW song probably didn't generate a lot of money. They probably didn't get paid up front from 3LW's team. And it's just sad. It's just sad all around the, all corners of everything going on. So it looks like uh, they argue that even if there are protectable elements in plays, they are not substantially similar to those in Shake. Exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say that I just think that this is a big reach. Um, it looks like they're, they're really digging for something here. Um, you know... I'm going to go ahead and see what you guys think in the comments. I don't want to get too deep into this because, you know, these like when cases go on, they, they look at like what they could find online and see, oh, you know, this person did a video. That's actually why I didn't do a video on this specifically, like on my uh, TikTok or YouTube, because 
I didn't want to like feed the court anything, uh, put in the stuff uh, next to each other. But I want to know what you guys think about this case. It looks like Shake It Off infringement has been set for August 30th, 2022. So the actual court case won't start yet. But I think, I mean, come on, man. Using the same lyrics is just, it's really funny to me. Let me know what you guys think. If you like the video uh, and want to talk a little bit more about this, let me know in the comments. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Checking out. See you guys later. Peace.